In other news this evening, newly filed court documents reveal what led up to the shooting at the Red Top Motel last week. Spokane County Sheriff's deputies arrested the man they believe is responsible for that shooting yesterday, and he made his first court appearance this afternoon. Graham 2's Amanda Rowley joins us live from the Spokane County Courthouse tonight. And Amanda, can you tell us how the suspect knows the victims? Well, Mark, Spokane County court records indicate the suspect, Joshua Seth, owed a few hundred dollars to one of the victims who was staying at the Red Top Motel, but the exact motive for the shooting is still unclear. Investigators say the victim was staying at the Red Top Motel with his wife. He told detectives he met with Joshua Seth at a nearby Safeway and collected the debt. Then he returned to the motel. 45 minutes later, he heard gunshots from outside their motel room. He soon realized his wife had been shot in the head. At last check, the woman is in serious but stable condition. Investigators also interviewed the suspect's father. He said the day after the shooting, Seth came to his house and said, they're coming after me. Then Seth hid his car in the garage and placed a gun in a workbench drawer. Investigators found this gun, but have not identified it as the weapon used in the shooting. Through security videos of the area at the Red Top Motel, detectives identified Seth's car. They could also hear nine gunshots in the videos, with bullet holes appearing outside the room where the victims were staying. Court documents also say investigators searched the victim's car and found numerous checks. They say several of those checks were forged and made out to Joshua Seth. Now, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office arrested Seth yesterday morning at a hotel near the Spokane Inter International Airport. Now, this afternoon, a judge kept his bond at $1 million for the attempted murder charges relating to that shooting last week. Reporting from the Spokane County Courthouse, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.